All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Hope you all are having a great weekend. We got some classic COD 4 here for you people today. Going to be playing a little TDM on Vacant with my boy LP. And oh, baby, LP with the triple frag. Good way to start off a match for sure. And one thing about COD 4, there's no shortage of grenades flying through the air. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, all right, guys, so we all know that COD 4 remastered. Not reloaded or redone, just remastered. It's the same game that we had in 2007, just, uh, you know, with some touched up graphics and some sound effects, probably. COD 4 Remastered coming with the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare. And there's a lot of people out there. Now, for me, COD 4 was the first Call of Duty game I ever played, man. This is the, this is the game that got me hooked. This is a game that changed the whole damn generation of gaming. Now, I'm very familiar with this game because I played the shit out of it. <laughs> Me and uh, my roommates played the living shit out of this game at the time. Uh, but there's a lot of you people out there that haven't played it. So, let's get right into what I think you guys are going to um The top five things you guys are going to have to adjust to. The people who have never played COD 4. Just let me give you a little bit of a taste of what's in store for you this November. The first thing you guys are going to have to get used to. And I'm talking about the people that never played COD 4, the new players to the Call of Duty franchise. First thing you guys are going to have to get used to is the UAV spam. Now, if you played MW3, well, it doesn't, it doesn't have that level of UAV spam. But if you played MW3 and enjoyed it, then you probably won't mind the UAV spam at all in this game. Uh, the UAV spam in COD 4, very similar to the UAV spam in uh, MW3. Actually, not as bad. <laughs> Not nearly as bad, uh, because in COD 4, you don't have customizable streaks. All you have is 357, UAV, Airstrike, and Chopper. So everyone has a UAV. So you're pretty much going to be seeing UAVs all game long. Now, you can wear a perk, uh, a ghost-type perk called UAV Jammer, but then you're going to give up either stopping power or juggernaut, and you really don't want to do that. But like I said, man, if, if, uh, if you feel you must, if you just hate the UAV spam and you hate being on the radar all the time, if you're that guy that just hates UAV spam <laughs> that much, then you can slap on the jammer. But it'll it'll cost you. you got to trade off the stop of power in the jug. It's balanced for sure. So UAV spam is one thing you're going to have to get used to. And speaking of spam, <laughs> you guys are going to have to get used to grenades. The grenades in this game. We got frag times three and martyrdom. And I think Frag Times 3 is a little obnoxious. I think they should tone it down to Frag Times 2, but we all know they're not doing that. They're releasing the same game, the same perks. Eavesdrop's coming back. Woohoo! All right, baby. I would much rather have them replace uh, Eavesdrop with like a quick ADS after sprint perk, or maybe a Stalker perk, or even Attack Mask, because there is a special Grenades Times 3 in this game. Uh, there's a lot of perks that would make sense if they uh, redid them here in COD 4, but they're not doing that. Just giving us the same game. Uh, yeah. Uh, so frag times three, man. The grenade spam in this game is insane. There is no flag jacket to protect you. Uh, martyrdom is... I love and hate martyrdom. Martyrdom is... It's annoying to get killed by it, but dude, it's great uh, for taking out corner campers. <laughs> People who like to sit in corners. You're not, you're not seeing me do that right now. Though. Oh, now see, if that guy had martyrdom, he probably would have got me. <laughs> Martyrdom is great uh, for that reason right there I just showed you. Martyrdom is great for killing corner campers. Uh, what they really should do is put a flag jacket perk in this game, but they're not going to, unfortunately. Uh, good shit right there, baby. All right, so that's what you got to get used to, guys. UAV spam, there's going to be grenade spam everywhere, and quick scoping will definitely be back. That's all people do in this game. It's super easy to quick scope in this game. Not as easy as Black Ops 2 quick scoping. But still, super easy. I used to quick scope all the time in this game, and I was pretty good at it, and I didn't even really do it that much. <laughs> if you guys remember my old school COD 4 gameplays, I would just pick up the uh, M40A3 and just come out here and quick scope the shit out of people. I'm like, oh, it's really not even that hard. Uh, so, quick scoping will definitely be back, but you've got Juggernaut. And if you really must, you've got <laughs> Second Chance. <laughs> second Chance, you could use Juggernaut and Second Chance in this game and really troll the shit. Out of snipers. So if you're in a lobby where you're just getting quick scope like crazy and it's really pissing you off, have a draw, sniper troll class on deck with your jug and your second chance, and dude, you will send them raging. You'll flip the script on them real quick. So you got to get used to the UAV spam, the grenades, the quick scoping. As in Black Ops 3, there really wasn't much quick scoping at all. 
Uh, but Black Ops 2, there was a shit ton of it. Um, so you got to get used to those three things. Another thing you got to get used to is the speed of the game. COD 4 is a much slower paced Call of Duty game than the current COD games. Um, you will feel this immediately. As soon as you get on it, you'll notice everything is slower. There's no um, quick draw perk. There is a fast hands perk in this game. Uh, I mean, a quick reload perk in this game, but nobody's going to use it. And maybe in hardcore, but nobody's going to drop stop and power juggernaut or UAV jam or just a reload fast in this game. Nobody. So you just got to get used to the slow reload, the slow ADS, and even the slow movement. There's no unlimited sprint. There's no lightweight. Um, so you, you're going to have to get used to the speed. And another thing you got to get used to, guys, is conserving your ammo in this game because there is no scavenger. Now, there is a bandolier perk, which starts you off with, I think, three times the ammo, but it's still not scavenger. <laughs> scavenger is the best. I would love for them to replace bandolier with scavenger in this game, but... <laughs> well, hold on now, but don't resupply grenades and claymores because nades and claymores in this game super annoying Oh, look at that knife and spree. I just went out, baby and nice 20 kill streak right there uh, Yeah, we definitely don't need nades and claymores being refilled in this game Okay, so I would like to have like a, the poor man scavenger in this game where it just resupplies ammo and there you go, fellas. I also heard this game's going to have dedicated servers, which I guess is okay. I kind of like the host advantage that COD 4 gave you, and I think I had host this game. <laughs> 42 kills, baby. Putting in work with the MP5, one of my favorite guns from COD 4. And this map vacant is pretty damn cool. Now, I know COD 4 is only coming out with 10 maps initially. Uh, put it down in the comment section. What 10 maps would you like to see come back? Uh, you don't have to put all 10, but just drop a few of your favorite maps you'd like to see come back in the COD 4 Remastered. Alright guys, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good shit. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Legacy Edition includes Modern Warfare Remastered, 